Well, hi, my name is Christian. I'm here calling from the Metrics headquarters in Dresden in Germany. My friend Ali Chan via Skype. And today we want to talk about a phenomenal project from Heralet in Turkey in Istanbul. And yes. it is by far the tallest tower here in the European Union. And the name of the tower Ali Chan is? Yes, it's actually called Chamlıca TV and Radio Tower. Chamlıca is the name of the region at there. Okay, so it's complicated for me to pronounce the name. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Do not worry. <laughs> okay, so how did Heralet won the project? How was this possible? As you may know, it started with the tender, actually. And during the tender, Hera successfully made it to the last three companies competing to create the lighting system, for sure. Uh, and we have been closely following the construction from the beginning, uh, the tower itself, actually. Uh, we committed, paid off, and since we could convince the ministries and the contractors with the help of the technical features with our system. Uh, at first, the competition specified products with uh, 24 volts that on top use property protocols. But uh, our company knew that this was not feasible due to the structure of the building with that high. Uh, instead, our fixtures work with 48 volt and with the DMX communication standard. And with the usage of 48 volt, as well as uh, our own software conversation to 16 bit data, allowed us to use much longer cables for power and the bulk data. And finally, we won the contract uh, thanks to our actually, the, you know, product attributes. Uh, this is what I can say. Actually, we won the contract very briefly uh, with the help of our products technology, I can say. Very, very nice. Congratulations again. Uh, yeah, what a great so project. Um, how many people from Heralet worked on the project? Yeah, uh, I can count uh, with the office people and the construction team. I can say around 10, more than 10 people uh, worked very closely uh, at the both sides, at the office and at the site. Okay, interesting. And yeah. how long did you work on the project? On the, uh, on the three years, I can say three years. Yes. What is? What do you think, what is special about this project, Alijan? Uh, the, the first one, as you indicated at the beginning of the interview, uh, uh, it's the height. It's a 369 meters length tower, uh, which makes it the, uh, the highest tower building in Turkey and also across to Europe. And uh, what makes the special, uh, it's combining on estimated 125 broadcasting transmitters in one structure. That's what makes it special. And when was the project completed? Do you know the date? Yes, yes. Actually, the opening date, official opening date, uh, it was at the 29th October 2020. Who is the client and who is the architect behind this structure? Yes. Yes, the, the client, uh, I can say the government for sure, and the uh, Ministry of Transportation and Communication uh, mm -hmm. is the main client. And the architect? Uh, architect is uh, world famous, our Turkish uh, architect, uh, Melike Altanışık. Okay, so we will put this description and more links about Heralet and also about the architects in the video down below. So you can take a look at the website from Heralet and also at the work from these architects. Okay, great, great. Now, I know that a very important part to win this project was RDM and RDM technology. True. And true. so it was very important for the government and to win the project. So when did you start to work with RDM in general? Yes, uh, as far as I know, uh, Hera started to work with the RDM protocol at the 2010. 
as you know, um, we are producing uh, high quality lighting fixtures uh, for the facade lighting, mm -hmm. dynamic facade lighting. And uh, it was so important to get the feedback from the whole lighting system. And it provides convenience and assembly, of course, uh, because we are working on a big scale. Uh, it has too much benefits, so we started almost 10, 11 years ago uh, to work with the RDM signals. The most important issue regarding for the lighting system is to monitorizing the all lighting fixtures. Because it's a massive structure and it's hard to recognize where the failure happens or observe the whole system. The, the main need of this project was the, the monitoring system. In the city of Istanbul, which has witnessed history for centuries, you know, it's a very, very old city. Uh, we needed to design a unique lighting design for the tower, uh, which was designed with a modern approach, actually. And we think which will be will become the new icon of the city as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, with dozens of historical buildings, for sure. And, and about the lighting system for us, it was surely to achieve a feasible lighting system, working lighting system. Uh, it was our main goal. My question now, Alijan, is which Madrix products and which hair related products did you choose for the project? Yes, uh, we choose uh, our product uh, as a sword. Uh, which is our uh, linear lighting fixture and the most selling ones. And we supported our uh, linear fixtures with the our float lighting uh, series Pro Colors uh, with the narrow beam. And about the Matrix, of course, we chose Stella and uh, we used Ultimate. Uh, and of course, uh, we are using Matrix radar system. So you in the project is a Matrix radar running, monitoring the RDM information in real time yes. over the Stella devices and also a Matrix 5 Ultimate controlling all the pixels on exactly, the Exactly, exactly. Can you tell us how many LEDs you have installed and which or how many Stellas are involved in the project? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I can say uh, in total, uh, at the facade, there are uh, 6,200 meters of linear products wow. and they all set up by uh, 10 centimeter as one pixel. So I can say uh, 62,000 pixels on the whole facade. Amazing. And yes, yes, yes. And the whole these uh, thousands of pixels uh, goes to and controlling by uh, 314 stellas and of course with wow. the one radar, the, the whole scanning system and the one Madrix 5 Ultimate. Madrix radar is the RDM monitoring software and this software is running in the background during live operation. So yes. in night time when you have this kind of beautiful light show you will see in the video Matrix Radar is collecting all the data from the Hera LED LEDs like temperature value, voltage, operating Maintenance hours. and everything, yes, yes. It's, Correct. It's, it's the best thing about this. And because of this data, um, it's way more secure for the client and also for Hera LED to do projects like this size and with tons of pixels, right? Yes, it's, it's so important. It's so important because when you're working on a big scale, uh, you have to monitor your whole lighting system and as you indicated, you have to get data about what's going on, is there something bad or everything going good. Uh, all the time uh, you should have feedbacks, uh, thanks to the Matrix for that really. Yes, so why do you use Matrix Radar on such a project? On the one hand, each lighting fixture is equipped with several sensors, as uh, you may know. This means that valuable data about the state of operation can be sent out by them in regular intervals. On the other hand, Madrix Radar acts as the readyout by presenting all these different data points in a cohesive overview. The software can automatically initiate data and sensor requests in time intervals, 
ranging from 60 seconds to 24 hours. In addition to mere numbers and values, graphs and graphical overviews provide quick visual assistance. Alichan, which other features and advantages does Madrix Radar offer for you? Um, actually, I can say addressing the lighting fixtures is very significant and it's very important to reduce the time and reduce the budget. Addressing the lighting fixtures is so important, really. RDM monitoring technology includes exclusive features uh, we talked about, it, but such as voltage, temperature, status, power cycle, and life cycle monitoring. And again, all this is uh, during live operation, during real-time operation. Yes, yes. So there's really no need to shut down the Madrix radar software for RDM monitoring. It operates in the background, in the yes. TV tower. Uh, it's so important. Yes, it's a real-time thing. Okay, I think a very interesting question is how long is the lighting system designed and specified to run in the TV tower? Yes, uh, actually uh, our company uh, gives five-year warranty uh, for our products, but we also offer 10 year for spare parts for changing. So when we consider all the lighting system, our lighting fixtures with the matrix, actually we designed this for 10 years run. How does maintenance work or is it planned for the project or in the lighting system? So how does maintenance work? Is this needed there? Yes, yes. Maintenance, of course, needed. But uh, uh, the system we set up, uh, scanning the whole system four times per day. So actually, if something happens like a failure or something, uh, we have four chances in a day to get notified. So actually, uh, we do not have a maintenance program like people going, workers going and checking everything. We don't need that. Okay. With that yeah, with that system, uh, Matrix Radar scanning the whole system. And if something happens bad, we can send our workers to solve. And that's it. It's so easy. Uh, I'm using it all the time uh, like a weapon uh, because when we do presentation, to our clients uh, for the future projects. I started to tell Magix Radar and the benefits of it. And by using the Magix Radar and telling to people, uh, it gets uh, our hands stronger for getting the projects. All right. Yes. Is there anything else you want to add to this video? We are almost at the end of the talks and the questions. Yes, yes. I want to thank you to Madrix all the time as we are uh, using your technology at our all projects. Uh, I want to thank you all in my heart uh, for your support. And I know you and us, uh, we are cre creating the technology of today and the future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alichan, for this uh, very warm words, for this kindest uh, words from you. And I want to say also thank you for choosing Matrix products since many, many years. We are doing fantastic projects since many, many years with Heralet in, in several regions. Now it's not only Turkey, also now yes. all outside of Turkey. Um, when you take a look in the video description down below, I will link a playlist of an architectural videos, of all architectural videos, and you will find many, many Heralet projects there with a lot of Madrix product, products used in the video, like Luna, like Stellas, like the Madrix software is always part of the installation. Thank you very much, Alichan, for this interview. I'm very sure there's a lot of tons of great information in the video. People will love the video and I hope they will share the video as well and yes. like the video. So thank you for the time. Thank please you say so hi. Much. Please say hi to also to Gökman, to Zerkan, to all the other guys in the office. Um, sure, sure. Say thank you. And I hope that we can do another interview and question and answer in the next weeks or months. So okay. maybe about another architectural project, maybe yeah. a hotel. If you are open for this, I would be very happy to do this. Yes. Thank you for your time. I'm time all the time. Say. Yeah, I'm all the time open for you and I'm here for you. Please tell me whenever you want. Thank you, Alishan. 
Thank you. Bye-bye.